It's a one-year closure that turned into two. The province's largest aquatic centre shut down for upgrades to get ready for the 2025 Canada Games. Memorial University says the pool will be games ready, but the delay is taking a toll on some local swimmers. This is the Sea Stars Artistic Swimming Club's new home. So it's been a rough two years. I will say all of the facilities have been very good helping us try to make it work. <laughs> The club now splits its time between here and the Aging Muse Centre and spends a lot more time planning. I'd say the biggest impact is actually on coaches. They already do so much with planning and organizing and scheduling and their regular coaching duties. And now they're having to make accommodations for not ideal land space, not ideal pool space, changing the routines to accommodate with the shallow end and then having to change it back when we go to competition. The young swimmers are happy to have a place to practice, but are getting too big for the little mun pool. They're getting to the level where safety is becoming an issue with that shallow end. There's things that we can't do or train properly because we don't have access to that full deep. Uh, and then you get them in a competition environment and it's the first time they've had to deal with not the shallow end. So they're going to change how they do things. It's not going to be how it feels in practice. Go. It's a similar story for the edge diving team. Thankful to have space here at the city's Paul Reynolds Community Center, though it could use a little more. Everything was great. We had the situation, uh, the numbers is really, really, really down. Go, stay down. Coach Jose Palma arrived from British Columbia a few years back looking to grow the sport again in St. John's. We have just two uh, springboard, uh, one meter. Uh, diverse needs is uh, not just one meter springboard, need three meter springboard, plug four, three meter, five meter, uh, seven meter and ten meter, plug four. Yeah, the match. team's seen success. Palma's son Juan Diego won a gold medal at the 2023 Junior National Diving Festival, a first in 20 years. But here, the rising diving star doesn't have much to work with. Usually, like the tower and all that, that's what I usually miss because. I like more, like, a bit more the tower than the uh, board. Hoping to get back the Aquarina soon, uh, to keep going, growing up like uh, divers, uh, building new, new challenges, uh, dive for them, and then be able to compete. Back at the Mun Pool, the university's swim team trains for an upcoming meet, no longer able to split their time between here and the Aquarina means that we've been training in a five lane 25 yard facility um, so that puts us down to about half the space that we normally have so um, instead of carrying a team of 36 like we did last season that the Acarina was open we were down to 23 swimmers. They're also having to put that university education to good use. We train in a 25 yard pool and then we have to convert that to times and splits and try to equate it to a 25 meter pool so there's math a lot more math the scaffolding is down ductwork done lighting is installed Munn says the massive multi-million dollar project is on time so the substantial completion data remain unchanged we're looking at the end of may 2025 for substantial completion upgrading a 50 year old facility does bring challenges Certainly there was a bit more work required on the structure of the facility uh, than what was expected and what was shown on the original drawings, so we had to uh, take some time to work on that. We've also had some code changes in uh, electrical and other elements of the building that again have led us to have some additional scope that we need to plan. A consultant is now assisting determine what needs to happen ahead of the games and what work can wait. We're thinking toward the end of January or sometime in February that we'll be filling the pool. Thereafter, we're able to start commissioning uh, systems in the building. So the dehumidification system that'll really make that comfortable environment we talked about uh, won't actually be able to be commissioned until the pool is filled. But for the fastest swimmers in the province, it's hurry up and wait. They can't wait. It's the most talked about topic here. Everybody every day is wondering when it's going to be, how much longer, and we've been recruiting for next year telling people it's going to be open, it's going to be open, you got to be, be ready for it, we'll have it next season. So I hope we're right. There is a rumor splashing around swimming circles that the crowd behind the Canada Games have booked a backup pool in Halifax in case the Aquarina isn't ready on time. Now that's a rumor that's been dismissed by both Memorial University 
and the swimming facility in Halifax, the Dowplex. Jeremy Eaton, CBC News, St. John's.